Hi guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Emma. This here is my little craft corner where I share lots of stuff about knitting, sometimes other yarn related stuff, but today I have for you 10 free sweater patterns. I made a similar video to this last year, so if you have not watched that one yet, please make sure to do so because those patterns are amazing. For today, I really wanted to emphasize some more recent uh, free patterns. So I think the oldest one on here came out in August and the most recent one came out two or three days ago. For the occasion, I am wearing my sweater number 15 by My Favorite Things Knitwear. This is my most recent cast off and this is not a free pattern at all, but I worked on this so hard and so long and I just want to share this as much as I can. But on my laptop here, I have for you 10 free sweater patterns. I ordered them smallest needle size to largest needle size. So we are starting with a pattern in three millimeter needles. And this is the Pearl Marie Bess by Berger de France. It is a pattern that comes in three languages, Dutch, English, and French. It comes in five sizes, small through XL, uh, double XL, and it is knit up on three millimeter needles in DK weight. And here I just love the stripes. Uh, let me move to the side a bit here so I can show you the patterns over here. This may be a bit easier to watch, but these stripes are just so great. I love how the neck is shaped. Also, it's kind of the drop shoulder effect that I also have on this sweater. Just think it looks very pretty, very neat. And this uh, with the ribbing on the bottom, like that bottom detail, which is like half of it's ribbing, half of it's not. Yeah, you can see it in the picture here, but that's super interesting. Um, that adds a lot of nice detailing to what's otherwise a pretty, not really a basic sweater, but it's like a standard sweater. Um, this is a beautiful pattern uh, in DK weight and it came out September 2023. The Ravelry page was made on September 5th. And I think this is a lovely sweater that I would love to knit up. I have, uh, this is in DK weight also, I have, still have two and a bit skeins of this left. And maybe that would be enough to knit this one up. Um, just combining it with a different color, a bit more neutral color. That would be a great way to get rid of the rest of this uh, sweater quantity. Yeah, I just love this better a lot. Then we're moving on to a 3.5 millimeter um, knit, and this is the Heart Women's Sweater. Probably mispronouncing this, but it's, I think it's the translation to like heart, like your heart. Um, and it is by Stina Rudgard Johansson probably mispronouncing that also and this comes in seven languages so a bunch of languages to choose from and it comes in one two three four five six seven eight nine sizes so that is a great size range uh, from double xl to 4xl and this is has the loveliest yoke detail ever so it's knit up in a circular yoke which is a very fun interesting yoke design that i have never done before um i'm really excited to do a circular yoke design once i'm not the greatest at uh intarsia knitting or like color work knitting but this just looks gorgeous i can really see myself sitting by a fireplace in i don't have a fireplace but just sitting by the fireplace on christmas morning with this sweater on this is amazing. So this is knit up in 3.5 millimeter needles on Sportway yarn. It's uh, published in August of 2023. Railway page was created August 29th. And I just I love this so much. It is so pretty. Uh, the black detailing on the color is gorgeous. So yeah, this is another one of my favorite um free patterns that came out recently 
with all these videos, I do, I have done multiple free pattern videos or just pattern videos in general. And I'm always like, oh, I'm going to knit this and I'm going to knit that. And I really want to make them all. And I have the perfect yarn for this. I rarely end up making these, but it's nice to fantasize. It is lovely to fantasize. I'm also fantasizing about knitting the Surfside Pullover by Yellow Blue Design by Olia Mikesh. This is knit up on 3.5mm needles, also on DK weight, and it comes in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 sizes, ranging from a 37.5 inch uh, finished chest circumference to a 65.5 inch finished chest circumference. This is knit bottom up in the round and I just really like this polo type of shirts, pullovers, blouses, whatever you want to call it. And I just, the color combination of this really piqued my interest a lot. So this looks incredible. Um, it looks super retro vintage kind of vibe, I think. But it also looks pretty classic, modern. I feel like with the stripes you can just do whatever you want. Uh, you can make it look however you want. They will really change up the entire style. This is knit up in DK weight. I don't know if I shared that yet. I uh, think I did. It's in English. It is knit bottom up. And I really like the color uh, bits. This was published on September 6th, so a little over a month ago. There are not a lot of Ravelry projects linked to all of these. I always like to look at Ravelry projects before I cast something on, but like with the pattern being so new, there is not really a lot of uh, projects you're going to find by this, but this, I mean, I would love an exact copy of this version of the sweater. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's the Surfside Pullover. I would love to cast that on. Am I going to cast it on? Probably, maybe a couple years or so, uh, if I ever do so. Um, the same dreamlike uh, cast on would be the Fall Sweater by Courtney Kelly. This is knit up in 3.75mm needles and it is all over color work. It is all over. It's a drop shoulder pattern. It's, it's these lovely geometric shapes, the triangles everywhere. And this is exactly what I want in my wardrobe. So I might actually go on the hunt to buy some yarn for this. Uh, this is a sport weight uh, pattern, knit up 3.5 mm needles, as I just shared. It was published in September of 2023. And it has one, two, three, four, five, six sizes. Yeah. It's always fun to look at, like, at first it says inches and then it says centimeters, so I have to, like, figure out where the division was. It comes in six sizes, and this is so pretty. I have a store bought sweater that, I mean, it's, it's not that similar. It is also a drop shoulder pattern. Um, all over color work. It is totally different colors, totally different vibe, but I kind of in my head link, just link the two, and that's one of my favorite sweaters, so I think this is going to be one of my favorite sweaters too. As I just mentioned, I don't really love knitting color work, but for this I would make an exception. Absolutely. This is just so incredibly pretty. It only has three projects linked in it on Revelry. That is a shame. I would love to see more colors uh, being worked up, but I think I would love this exact copy again. This is lovely. I love it. I want to knit this now. Um, then we're going over to the veneer pattern by Erika Eliassen. Probably mispronouncing that also. Sorry, not really great at Scandinavian names. This is so pretty. It is such a staple piece made interesting. 
with the neckline it just like kind of crosses like this the high neck it is amazing you can dress it up you can dress it down you can do whatever and this color is also beautiful i think i am also with all these patterns is really attractive to, to the colors it is knitting at that point uh this was published on august of 2023 so it's one of the oldest patterns on here it's knit up on 4.5 millimeter needles in a worsted weight yarn a dk plus light fingering makes worsted and it comes in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sizes. And it comes in eight sizes and a lot of languages, like seven languages, which is great. Um, so you can just pick your own language, basically. This is super pretty. I love it. It is such a classic staple that I can wear to the office, but I can also like wear it to a more fancier situation I can wear it to dinner with friends and just kind of dress it down. I love it. It has six projects on Revelry and they're all like unfinished still. So I don't know what the colors are looking like but this browny orangey kind of thing is lovely. I don't know what other color I would need it actually. Uh, I, I cannot really imagine it in different colors. Maybe a dark red would be lovely. Maybe it's a darker color or a gray maybe. Like a lighter gray would be nice. I don't know. I have to think about that. But this might also be a um, cast on. It is knit in the round and it is knit top down which is my favorite type of construction is top down in round, no fuss going on. And this is a pattern that is knitted around uh, top down with a raglan yoke. But the raglan, they did some interesting stuff with it because it's not starting here but here. So that makes it super interesting and I am super excited to see how this is going to turn out. I would love to cast this on. Maybe even for winter this year. I don't know. I still have to make my winter plans, but this might just be up there. Then we are going to 5mm territory with Erin Way yarn. And this is a winter holiday sweater by Alexis Darcy, and this is so pretty. Uh, just the cabling is just on the body, not on the sleeve. I guess it's body and sleeves. But just on the body, there's a cabling. It looks like to be a bit more of a lighter weight, like a lighter gauge. So not so tight. Um, the pattern seems to be a bit tighter. It comes in sizes extra small to 6XL. So it's a pretty greatly size inclusive pattern. And this is lovely. So 5 millimeters on Erin Way yarn. It's knit bottom up. It is seamed. It has short rows. It is a lovely pattern and it has no project yet because this came out in October 2023 and it was like the page was created on October 5th and it's currently when I'm recording this October 7th. So it really just came out. Um, I hope to see a lot of these pattern uh, of these projects in the future because it is so gorgeous i love the neckline i love how it's just kind of that mock neckline but it's not too tight so it's just like bundling up around here and it's sitting really nicely i think it's very interesting i'm not sure if this will be a cast on for me but i really wanted to share this because it is so gorgeous, it is so new, and I do not want you to miss out on this pattern. I really don't want you guys to miss out because it's so pretty. It is so great, and it is free. Like, why is this pattern free? This is so beautiful. All these patterns are super beautiful, and I would definitely pay for them. But this one especially, like, it's so gorgeous. It is so detailed, so much attention must have gone into this especially it being a extra small to 6xl <laughs> moving on to the next pattern which is a 5.5 millimeter pattern on Erin Wayne yarn this is the 
Jacquard Pullover by Lana Glossa. It's number 31. And this just has really fun sleeves detailing, really fun um, color work going on, but just on the sleeves. So the body is knit up in entirely one color and the sleeves are this, these fun color work things. I really like this. Um, it's a 5.5 millimeter um, pattern, which is just like a little bit above my preferred uh, needle size, but that's okay. It comes in four sizes, uh, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, and 48, 50. Uh, the language is only in German, but I feel like this would come with a color work chart and those are pretty... Um, and those are pretty like without any language, so you we just knit the color work chart and figure it out. And for the basic instructions, like you will see the numbers obviously, we just have to kind of translate a little bit. But I feel like language barrier is not really too much of an issue with this pattern. Um, it is just a very fun pattern, it seems like. It's a very fun sweater. I love these colors as well. I think they did a great uh, I think they did a great job choosing the colors for this. And it is super pretty. Uh, it's a drop sleeve pattern with a scooped neck. It is worked flat, so you have to do some seaming. But that is okay. It's just a really, really, really fun sleeve pattern. Really like the um, difference between the basic like body and then the sleeves are just fun which I really like that. Then we're already at pattern number eight. We're flying through them all. Uh, this is the Take It Slow sweater which I mean kind of touche I just mentioned I'm going very fast and this is Take It Slow. Uh, the Take It Slow sweater by Paintbox Yarns. This is just a super fun v-neck sweater. It, it's very, it looks very detailed because it's knit with chenille yarn from Pinkbox Yarns, and like a yarn brand that makes patterns also. It is sizes ranging between 32 uh, chest circumference to 58 chest circumference inches. It is knit up with 6mm needles on bulky weight yarn. And this is just a fun pattern. It looks like a lot of fun to knit. It is like color work, but it's mostly just striped color work. That's not too big of a hassle to knit. It's just, I feel like this is just a very fun pattern. We should just keep mentioning at about like every pattern, but this just looks super fun to knit, super fun to wear. Just, I don't know, maybe it's also that the model just looks like super fun to be around. Uh, that might also help. <laughs> so this is bulky weight yarn uh, above my like preferred needle size. That's fine. I would love to make an exception for this. Uh, it's not on my top two knit items, but if I at one point do have the time, if I at one point do have the yarn, would definitely love to knit this up. Then pattern number nine is the Bella sweater by Maria Sol Solftofte. Solftofte. Probably mispronouncing that also, but this also is very fun. It's knit up in worsted weight yarn on 7mm needles and this comes in sizes extra small to double XL so I believe it is 6 sizes if I'm counting correctly, yeah, it is 6 sizes. It is a funnel neck pattern which like I'm not really well known with like neck constructions but funnel neck sounds like great. It is knit in around in one piece raglan sweater. And if I do have some worsted weight yarn laying around, this pattern looks very nice. This finished item looks, looks so comfy. And it's just a nice sweater to throw over when you're getting cold during the day. It is lovely. I really like the longer uh, ribbing on the sleeves, especially. The body also seems to have like a lot of ribbing. Love that, would not love to knit it because it is twisted ribbing, but I would love to have that um, nonetheless. Then the very last pattern I have is a French pattern. 
and it comes in two sizes only like small medium and large extra large um, but I just had to share this because this is Pullover the Rainbow his name it is by La Libellula it is by La Libellula Bleue mispronouncing that also it came out October 2023 on October 5th and this just I'm immediately envisioning using a uh, hand dyed mohair for this held together with just store bought white yarn to really have the mohair shine to really have like the rainbow aspect to it so that's why I wanted to share this it is so lovely this is knit up in three strands of lace weight yarn on eight millimeter needles so it's pretty airy lightweight lovely um and i just love how this looks it is a top-down sweater it is a regular sweater it's a really nice pullover um just a t-shirt when you're getting colder it's a lovely way to make the mohair shine and that's really why i put it in here i just got a lot of inspiration from this so i wanted to share this it is in French, but I feel like knitting patterns, the language doesn't really play a huge part into it. Obviously, you need to know the abbreviations, you need to know some words to make it work. But if you have enough willpower, you will get through this. And I feel like for this one, I would make an exception. And for the German one, I would also make an exception. This just gave me a lot of inspiration, as did the other nine patterns. I'm gonna share it with you. I feel like free patterns just give me so much inspiration of so much possibilities of things that I can knit. Um, like patterns on Ravelry generally give me a lot of inspiration, but free patterns are just sometimes one step above the creativity that I have and just give me a burst of inspiration. Anyway, enough rambling. These were 10 free patterns that came out in the previous 2-3 months. And I would love to knit them all. And I would love to know which patterns caught your attention. Which patterns you want to knit. And with that, without further ado, I want to say uh, thank you so much for watching. Please like this video if you liked watching it. Please subscribe to my channel if you like to see more content of me. I do share a fair bit of free patterns or just pattern roundups on here with the occasional knitting podcast, knitting vlog, other types of videos like craft fair videos. It's just a lot of fun uh, on here. We're just here to have a lot of fun. So I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel, keep watching me. And uh, with that, I wanted to say thank you for watching and I'll see you guys again real soon.